Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Lightning Web Component series. If you want to watch other videos of Lightning Web Component or any other concepts in Salesforce, do visit the channel. Today we are going to discuss about de decorators and properties in Lightning Web Components. Decorators in Lightning Web Components. There are three majorly used decorators in Lightning Web Components at the rate API, at the rate track, and at the rate wire. At the rate API decorators is used to make properties or methods in Lightning Web Component public. This way, they are accessible outside of the component in which they are declared. For example, a parent component can set the value of a property in a child component. Second is at the rate track. At the rate track decorator is basically used to make properties or a method private in Lightning Web Components. This property is not accessible outside of a Lightning Web Component when in which it is declared. At the rate wire decorator is basically used to read the Salesforce data from Apex class into Lightning Web Component. It is generally used while making a server calls to Apex class. LWC properties. There are two types of properties in Lightning Web Components. First is a reactive properties and second is a non-reactive properties. In case of reactive properties, if the value of property changes, component gets re-rendered. Reactive properties are of two types, public reactive properties and private reactive properties. Public reactive properties are the one which are declared using at the rate API decorator. Private properties are the one which are declared using at the rate track decorators. Next are the non-reactive properties in JavaScript. Non-reactive properties are declared without any decorator. So even if the value of non-reactive property changes, component does not get re-rendered. Now let's do some coding to clear these concepts. So we'll go to VS Code. And we will create two components, a parent component and a child component. So first of all, use a shortcut key control shift P to create a lightning web component. I'll name it as child Y and it's in same directory. It's getting created. Okay. So child Y component is ready. We'll create another component. We'll name it as parent Y and we'll place it in the same directory. Okay. Now inside child component, what we will do is we'll create some properties. So let's create properties at the rate track. track param we'll assign some values to them it's giving me some error because i have not used i have not imported at the red track decorator right so at the red track over here also i need to import at the red api i'll create another property Also, I'll create one non-reactive property. Now we'll use these properties in our HTML file. Let's create lightning card.
will use track property over here create another card and another one use api prop demo and here api param we'll name it as non reactive demo and non reactive param okay we'll verify whether the values are same or not okay next we'll create one button over here so that on click of that button we will change the properties value notice this is how we uh, call the function of a javascript in our html we just need to include the function name inside curly braces okay we'll save it and inside a javascript file we'll create this function now for accessing these properties inside our function we need to use this okay so we'll use this dot track param and we'll change its value let's save these changes before that let's comment these two lines because we want to demo that uh, while a non reactive property changes uh, the component does not re renders it will hold its uh, original values only the old values itself right so we'll push this code to a uh, salesforce org until then we'll create an aura application so that we can include our lightning web component inside it so okay we'll refresh it our code has been deployed successfully to our salesforce org let's preview this
we can see three lightning cards uh, first one is for track property second is for api property and third one is for non-reactive property now on click of this button what we are doing is we are calling this function and inside that we are changing the value of non-reactive property since this is a non-reactive property even if i change the value of non-reactive property it will not affect the html part it will not re-render again so if i click on this there is no change happening over here right now instead of this if i uncomment these lines that means i am changing the track property and then I'll deploy this to our org. And we'll refresh this. And now if, if I click on this button, see the value of all properties are being changed. Why? Because this non these reactive properties are changing. So the HTML part gets re-render again and it gets the new value from the javascript okay so this was about the reactive and non-reactive properties in javascript uh, in lightning web components now we'll see the difference between uh, public properties and private properties so the properties which are declared using at the rate track decorators so these properties are private properties these these are accessible within this component only whereas properties declared using at the rate api decorator these are public properties so even the other component like a parent component can change the value of this property right so for this we'll go to a parent component and inside parent component will declare our child component so it's child dash y we need to use c dash child dash y notice the case in which we are writing the child components name so it is a kebab case right every letter has to be a every letter of word has to be in a lower case right and it has to be separated using a dash and we have api param let's assign some value let's try to access track parameter that is private parameter also Let's save this and inside our aura component, let's make it as parent y. Let's save this, let's deploy our code. Okay. We have deployed our code. Let's refresh this. Yes. So for the API properties, you can see the values have been provided by the parent and its value has been changed, right? So it is reflecting the value which was set by the parent component. Whereas for track property, the value remains the same. It's the same value which is uh, which has been assigned to this uh, private properties in a child component. Another point I want to explain is how we pass the value from parent component to child component properties. So get back to the parent component. Yeah. So if you have noticed the change in the case of properties, while the properties are declared in the camel case in JavaScript file, their corresponding attributes in HTML are written in kebab case. So if you can see this property API parameter, this API parameter corresponds to this property of javascript file okay in this video we have seen how to use decorators in lightning web components we have seen how to use reactive properties in javascript non-reactive properties in javascript what is the difference between reactive and non-reactive properties then we have seen how to declare functions in javascript 
uh, we have also seen how to use parent and child component in lightning web components uh, we have also seen how to pass values from parent component to child component properties right so this is it for today's video do let me know your suggestions and view in comment section also subscribe to our channel for more videos on lightning web components thank you